Hello, everybody. If I look tired and worn out, it's because I am. Hot Mess Express. So, I am working on my beach comber for the Sew and Swap that is going on in Sew Whatever. Um, Sign-ups closed a long time ago. And I've just been procrastinating-ish. So, hello if you're here. Hopefully my internet is connection. Hopefully my internet is connection. Hey Brittany, how's it going? Oh, I got a wedgie. It's fine. I'm human. Hey Amy. Yes, welcome back home. I'm so excited to be home. Got home Wednesday. Um, so my SWAT partner really likes horror movies. <laughs> Aw. Um, so this is like the best I've got as far as like horror inspired. However, it was for a peekaboo. So if you can see there, there's that line there. <laughs> yes. So this is motivation. This is your reminder for all the procrastinators out there like me. This is why I waited for you. No, <laughs> not at all for you. It was my fault. But I do have, so Zipper by the Yard came in that's going to be stocked July 12th. You can set your calendar now, July 12th. Um, black Nickel and Lime Green. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to be using this zipper tape on her pouch. Yes, I got to see both of my sisters. So exciting. And we're all pregnant and it's just, like my brother-in-law said, it's the apocalypse. <laughs> um, so I can't decide what vinyl I want to use, right? I know it's, I'm so excited for that. Thank you. Yes. Um, I can't decide what vinyl I want to use. I could use black glitter, which would really make it classy, but I'm not sure if I want to go classy or super fun. I'm feeling okay. I still have pretty bad nausea. Um, I take pills that help, but they don't always help. <laughs> um, so I apologize if I miss comments. I can't really scroll back from this far away. Um, oh, FM stores. I need to go so bad. I literally just used the last of my leather backed vinyl. Um, okay. So I think I think I want to use black glitter. I think it's going to be really pretty. So we're going to go with that. Do I have black glitter out? Ah, it's like Tammy new. Okay. So we're going to use black glitter. I am going to utilize all of the fabric I can. Oh, Trish. Nice. Um, so I'm going to make my front and back the same piece. Gloria, it's crazy. <laughs> and people are like, did you guys plan that? I'm like, no, we did not. <laughs> I didn't know it would happen. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what happens, but we'd been trying on and off for like two and a half years. So I didn't know it would happen. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be using Woven Fuse 2 for this fabric. Um, I'm using a thicker cotton canvas. Uh, yeah, so they're going from three grandkids to six grandkids, but they're super excited. Um, do you guys want me to move the camera so you can see? I'll just do it. So I am folding my interfacing in half so I can cut out both sides at the same time. And I'm cutting my interfacing first so that I can fussy cut my exterior fabric, kind of lay it over where I want it to go. So 
So you could, of course, trace your pattern first if you wanted to. But I just want to cut it out of my interfacing and then I'm going to use my clips. There we go. And I like to cut the straight sides first so that I can clip it all together. And get those nice and secure. And then turn that other side down. There we go. And then this can go in my scrap bin. So my exterior centers ready to go. Two at once. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, when you're not thinking about it. Absolutely. It's more like my uterus was like, oh, your sisters are pregnant? <laughs> I, it's my turn. I want in. I was like, I don't care. D do what you want, I guess. Oh. All right, so hopefully we have an admin paying attention because I can't see a lot of the comments. So I apologize in advance if you ask a question and I don't see it. I'm not ignoring you. I just can't really see it. Oops. Okay. So now I need to cut out four of these pieces total, but two each. I mostly am making cat toys. Oh no. Did you order your new machine yet? All right. So I'm just going to trace out around this piece. And kind of line them up however I feel like. I probably have scraps I could have used of the black glitter, but I don't feel like digging in and out. Okay, so there's my two left sides. I'll just go ahead and mark an L, because why not? And that's all I need of this piece. Ew. I hate touching the silver clips now. And I... Okay, so let me just show you so you don't think I'm crazy. You see? how straight the edges are of this one versus how curved the edges of these are. These just feel nice. Oh, anyway, sorry about that. But yes, we have tons of rainbow clips on the website. We should not sell out for quite some time. Um, but if we do, we will restock. Um, what else can I talk about? So, Zipper by the Yard is coming July 3rd, no, July 12th. I have a dentist appointment July 13th. That's why I keep thinking July 13th. Um, July 12th, it is a Sunday, so that anybody who works full time or something, they have a chance to get it. Um, hardware has been restocked. Everything that I can stock is stocked, um, but more is on the way, it's ordered. And um, zipper pulls, I, um, I can't stop designing them, you guys. I have a real, a real problem. <laughs> uh, yes, I do use the same scissors and it can absolutely dull them, but so can dropping them, which I do often. So I just don't even worry about it. Um, so new zipper pulls that we have coming, I haven't showed sneak peeks because I just, just don't do that very often. Um, flying keys to match the flying key fabric that I sell and um, the most adorable little bows. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, and then I just designed some tangled ones. So there's a, the tangled lantern and um, Pascal. So I actually designed those because 
I'm going to be making myself a tangled themed diaper bag. And I was like, obviously I need tangled themed zipper pulls. So that's happening. Those are probably going to be somewhat limited edition. I don't know if I'll continue to reorder those or not. So keep that in mind just because I don't have space. Um, Trish. So my friend over at things for your stuff, Kira, I think, oh, I'm going to be the worst person if it's not. Um, she actually has some chocolate frog zipper pulls that are coming that look super cool. So things for your stuff. Look it up. Facebook group. And like, what a good name. <laughs> yes. So I just, I don't have room for tons of zipper pulls. So that's why I don't have them but I needed these. So um, I think I'm actually going to sell them as singles as well. So not in sets of five, just in case. Um, Mary, am I designing my diaper bag? Yes. However, I'm not sure if it would be a pattern yet because I'm thinking I'm going to kind of mash up a bunch of things. Um, I really like the Tribbiani travel bag but I want to lengthen it and make it into a backpack. Um, so I've kind of been thinking about reaching out to Sincerely Jen Patterns and being like, would you work with me on this? <laughs> and we could release it as a pattern, but we'll see. I just don't have time to write out a pattern, unfortunately. Yeah, backpacks for sure. And I've talked to CJ about it and he's like, I mean, honestly, I'd prefer a backpack, but I don't care because he's got to carry it too, you know? Okay. Top and bottom bands. I'm going to cut my gusset. Um, and I'm just checking that my vinyl doesn't have any little nicks or cuts in it on the side. Hello. Top band. Um, I am going to be using my industrial to sew this one. I know on the um, video I did, I used my Juki home machine. And I did that mostly so you guys could see it can be sewn on pretty much any machine but it's not my machine of choice for bags, so I'm not gonna use it today. Plus I already have black thread on my Juki Industrial, so there's that. Did that threading trick work? Oh, for the automatic threader, I still haven't tried. I just, I'm so used to not using the automatic threader. Um, so I will update the video links to include this pattern when I'm not live any longer. Um, but this is by Needle and Anchor Supply Co. My friend Carissa. Because I think we're friends. I'm just over here assuming I have friends. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Boom. This is lining only. And then I need my recessed zipper panel. And I can't really make it out of the fabric. I may make my zipper panel out of all waterproof canvas because this glitter vinyl is gonna be really, really bulky. Oh, hi Cheryl. Um, so I guess, honestly, I could use regular black so it's not super bulky. I don't know how I feel about that. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I could use red. Red and lime green might look weird, but I could use like a metallic blue, mayhaps. So 
sorry for this train of thought. Mm. It's pretty, kind of matches, but it's not long enough. Nope. Hmm. Well, I am using my industrials, so glitter vinyl might not be too bad. I just know I don't have a coordinating fabric. I could also make the zipper panel wider and stitch it down. However, the side gusset isn't quite wide enough to allow for that, really. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. Honestly, I just like to talk everything out. Okay, so. So I'm just gonna use the glitter vinyl. I may regret it later, we'll find out in uh, an hour. Yeah, this bag can absolutely be made on a domestic. You just would wanna use um, a few different materials than what I am showing. Okay, so there is my zipper panel. So I just need gusset lining and front and back lining cut out and that's it on that so I'm gonna be using lime green for the lining no I'm not I'm gonna use red because I think that'll look really cool oh it's on the roll I don't have to unfold it. Because I'm lazy. I think that'll look really cool. So I'm gonna cut out my zipper panel pieces. Um, I am having a girl. And I honestly never really made a post like boy or girl because I know that that can be a bit offensive to the trans community. Um, and I like to be respectful of that. But her name is Dorothy. Dorothy Rose, the best golden girls. Um, also, I have an aunt named Rose who was one of my favorite human beings ever to exist. So I'm cutting my lining for the zipper panel just a little bit wider because sometimes my waterproof canvas shrinks up on me. It's a personal sewing issue, not waterproof canvas's fault. Okay. So I'm rough cutting out the waterproof canvas. <laughs> Best flower ever, also true. I just really liked it. We thought of it a long time ago. Um, and then my husband's last name is actually different than mine. And I 
won't change mine, but our daughter will have his last name. All right, so I'm cutting out both lining pieces right now. And I'll just leave those clipped together. I'm done with this piece. And then the very last one I need is the gusset. And then we're done. Again, I'm just making sure I don't have any nicks that are going to show up in my seam allowance. Coming in from the selvage. Making sure I don't give myself a paper cut. I did do a cutting and interfacing video for the beachcomber as well. It's just a standalone tutorial. If you guys miss anything or want to watch that. Um, I don't know of any other source. Um, I know FM stores and more FM fabric stores and more um, in Springfield, they have waterproof canvas in store and you can call them. Um, but it felt a little bit different than the FWD fabrics waterproof canvas, so I didn't get any. Fabric.com. Um, I don't notice a difference when I cut on the vinyl one way or the other. Oops. So I would say no. So that's just me. Okay, so that is all the pieces that we need cut. I am going to use a pre-made wristlet strap on this bag and a pop tab zipper pull so that I can clip the wristlet through the zipper. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, honestly, when I was out of waterproof canvas, I just, I paid the shipping price. I was like, I need it. It's cheaper already. Whatever. All right. So I'm going to press this. Now that my heat press is ready to go. I guess I can move you guys over. Uh, yeah, probably. But also I'm chunky, so... I am 24 weeks, going on 25, totally unprepared. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, at like a little bit of an angle would look cool. I'm trying to pick, yeah, I think it'll look cool. And it's my only option, but in a good way. I always like to think of these things as happy accidents because I don't want that big yellow line on the fabric and I really don't have any other options. Oh, I can make my wristlet strap out of the exterior fabric though, so I don't waste as much. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. All right, sorry. Am I missing? Thinking out loud again. Um, so I'm gonna grab some 809. Cause I like to use 809 in my wristlet straps. Makes them very sturdy. Oh yeah, this is woven fuse too. 
so I need a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I think I have another scrap bit. So yeah, there we go. What do we have here? So this piece is, okay, I can do two inches, which would be a half inch for such strap. So I need two inches by about 16. Um, I announced it on my Instagram and in a sewing group, was that last week? I don't know, two weeks ago, because I was 22 weeks. I made a Taylor Swift reference in said announcement, because that's just who I am. Oops, well that's crooked, but it's fine. It'll fuse back together. Oh, I apologize, yes, I am pregnant. I didn't want to do like a whole video. I actually thought about it. Like, where have I been? Where have I really been? But it would have been like really drama. Fied. <laughs> I'm having a human. No, I'm just kidding. Girl, 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 girl. Okay. Uh, buggy singer. I love that green vinyl. Oh, the green glitter. So that is for a custom ordered Emily tote with Beetlejuice fabric. I'm super excited to make that. All right. Uh, my sister Emily is due first. And then my sister Sarah and then me. And actually, in the burp cloth video, I was pregnant. I did not know then, but I was. Okay, so here is my wristlet strap. It does have the yellow line, but maybe she won't notice unless she watches this video. Then she will. Or one of you guys tells her. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um, so I haven't been live in a while because I was out of town. I was uh, visiting my sister, actually. It was her baby shower. And then, you know, Animal Crossing came out. So I've been playing that a lot. So I think we're about ready to grab some hardware. Oh yeah, that's gonna look so cool. Happy accidents. Just like my child. No, I'm kidding. Oh, thank you, Carol. Yes, Inga, I'm so stoked. Do you guys wanna see the zipper by the yard? We just opened it all today. So before I head over to the sewing machine, you guys will see it. There's so much. There's so oh. we we have ten feet of table. <laughs> yeah. So there's twenty thousand yards here. Twenty thousand yards under the sea. Um Oh my gosh, though, so you guys, I'm so excited for these colors. Ah. Okay. Navy with black nickel. This purple and black nickel. Oh, I'm so excited. Black nickel is probably going to have some of the best colors for this round. I love it. 
Yeah, a lot of zipper tape. So we're hoping it lasts twice as long. So that would be six hours. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then there's rainbow. We've got a navy, this like violet purple. Not violet, but like it's neon almost. Um, and, and then this like sea foam color. Uh, who are all the pics on the wall of? Um, these are of me and celebrities and friends. So if you guys watch my um, sewing room tour video, you'll see those better. I don't want to go through it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you foam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, last time it sold out within like three hours. And I did a poll in So Whatever asking you guys what colors you would order um, if they were in stock. And... So I just ordered based off of that, and that's how many packs we'll have. So they'll be ready for sale July 12th, a Sunday. So I'm guessing they'll, they'll sell out in six hours. That's what I was saying, sorry. So I'm grabbing a, sorry if anybody's getting dizzy, like I'm getting dizzy, a half inch snap hook and a pop tab zipper pull. And then we're ready to sew. Like, it's, it's done. It's time. I'm sitting down very slowly. All right, adjusting camera. Because there's 300 people watching. Why would I have my shit together? Um, Jennifer. I'm really, really hoping that fabric is here Monday for us to then cut out. However, tracking um, hasn't been updated yet. So fingers crossed, I will know by Monday if they will be available on the first. Hope that's enough time for you guys to figure it out. But I did order more yardage than before for any print for this round. Um, so that it would last a little bit longer. Sorry, my lips are really dry. Um, how many sewing machines do I own versus what I use? So I would say that there's only one sewing machine that I own that I do not use. And that's my cylinder arm. But I don't use them on a daily basis. Um, but I would say I use them enough to... afford not afford it but justify the purchase of it um i'll go grab a beachcomber really quick so you guys can see what we're making all right so this is what it looks like and you can actually make this front pocket a slip pocket. Um, Deidre, no, not changing anything. Oh, there's a lot in here. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, this was the first one I made and I was able to use my fossil pulls. I love them so much. Um, but yeah, I have two, two employees at the moment. So, um, good to go though. We, there will be less sewing, but other than that, oh yeah, the black one. Um, so the flying keys will be returning again in black and 20% is going to be donated to an organization in San Francisco. Um, it's a trans community. Oh, thanks, Ashley. I had I had a lot of fun making it. Um, so painting is actually like my first passion, and I just don't really have time for it anymore. Um, I need to grab a zipper end. That's the one thing I forgot, so I'm gonna grab that. I'm not using vinyl for this. I wanted to 
want to hear my extra large zipper ends. Because I've had them, I haven't gotten to use them. Hello, Connie. Okay, so I posted about these a few weeks ago. I wanted zipper ends that were just a little bit bigger so that they fit the number five zipper tape really nicely because the ones I was selling already are like, I don't know. They're smaller than this and they're fine. They work, but you gotta like really shove it in there. Aw. It's important, you know, to support them. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, the extra large zipper ends. I contacted my supplier and I was like, hey, I would like to make them just a little bit bigger if that's okay. Um, and this is like a honey I shrunk the kids moment, except I enlarged the kids. And they're massive, okay? They're massive. So this is the pop tab zipper pull in comparison to the zipper end. But I like it. It's a big boy's. <laughs> She's a big boy. Um, anyway, so I actually really love it. I'm not gonna lie. I texted uh, Brittany, Imperium Brittany, and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> of course this happened. Just, of course. Um, I was really worried, but I actually love them. So really quick, gonna add my zipper end. No, my zipper pull, not my zipper end. I'm gonna wait till I'm almost done to add that. So adding my pop tab zipper pull, I'm using a zipper jig. It's by Osborne, actually. Yay. I'm, I'm really glad you guys like them. This is the first time I'm actually going to get to like literally use it on a bag. So I'm really excited. <laughs> Probably unnecessarily excited. Um, Kelly, if you are new to bags, I would suggest starting out with like little zipper pouches, um, makeup bags, things like that to kind of get your feet wet. Honestly, that's what I did when I started is I just made zipper pouches, like just a bunch of squares, getting used to adding zippers, things like that. Um, there is the ethyl bag from Swoon that's free that requires card. We sell in packs um, and it's like 30, 30 something for the pack, you get 18 yards. If you guys need to buy zipper by the yard in single colors, please go to another website. I We don't have the ability to do that. There aren't enough of us and we do uh, so much that it would literally be impossible for us to cut it all. Like, oh, I want one yard, two yards, you know? So it's not for everybody and I understand that, but the colors are amazing. And I've had a lot of people say, Actually, I know, it took forever. It came, uh, I think yesterday or something. So happy. All right, so for this strap, what I did was I folded the raw ends under. Um, so it's color packs. Um, what would you recommend someone who's never made a bag? Definitely just, just start with little zipper pouches. Um, and then I folded it in half and then we're folding it in half again. So it's gonna be a half inch wide strap with no raw ends. Uh, what is the price for zipper by the yard? It's like $30 for the pack. You get 18 yards, six different colors um, and they're sold by hardware finish 
So there's black nickel, nickel, rose gold, light gold, antique gold, rainbow. And did I miss one? Um, if you guys have any questions though, right now you can go to any of my zipper sale videos and I talk about everything in those. And I'll be doing another one before these go up for sale too. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad you guys like them. Um, again, I, I always try to please everyone, but I know that it's impossible. Yeah. Um, and it's just the only way that we could be capable of doing it, really. Because I want to offer so many colors and we have so many hardware finishes. So, the only way. Oh. Thanks, it's a mess. So then I just fold it like this and do a box stitch. This is kind of thick for domestic, but for mine, we're good. But there is the wristlet strap. Half inch. Um, the pattern does include a wristlet strap. Um, made a different way. I've just never been patient enough for that way. take my lighter just really quick make sure all of my little scraggly threads are gone there we go uh, July 12th zippers available all right so then I'm going to work on my front and back panel which is one in the same because I decided to add the accent pieces to both sides Okay. So then these pieces get lined up face down. And I'm going to clip them. So I've got mine marked right and left to kind of help me out. <laughs> and then they'll fold up. So I'm going to top stitch those on. Honestly, I should set up both sides and I don't have to um, take it off and then on again. I don't have to cut my thread. So sewing them together like this, um, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's, just like assembly line sewing, so that I'm not cutting my bobbin thread every time. One, you're gonna run out of thread faster, and two, it's taking more time. So, just snipping off my other piece and attaching the other one. And then when I'm done, I can cut it all off. Ah, yes, piecing, chain mill, chain piecing. I used Woven Fuse 2 on my main fabric. Um, right now, Echo, what time is it? The time is 8.32 p.m. 8.22, 
Um, but I will post like the time zone and everything. Um, I haven't figured out exactly what time. I was thinking maybe like 3 p.m. my time so that if you're international, it's not at such a weird hour. But again, I know I cannot please everyone. <laughs> but I'll try. I'm still gonna try. All right, so I'm gonna fold this up and top stitch on my vinyl. And as I'm folding this piece, I'm making sure it lines up. So I may not have sewn it with the exact right seam allowance, but when I fold it to top stitch it, I can make sure it matches up. So I'm gonna show you guys that up close. as well. So you see how it lines up on the sides. But if I were to fold this up all the way, I might see, you know, bits of that hanging off. And then I am folding it a different way than the pattern. I wanted my top stitch on the vinyl um, so that it looks less like an open pocket. Although again, you can add a pocket to it. I think cutting it on an angle was a really happy accident. I knew, I had a feeling it would be. I was hoping it would be. All right, so then I got my top panel pieces here. And I think I'm gonna add a nameplate to this one. So I guess I could just add a woven tag. It just doesn't, this feels fancier, you know what I mean? Do I need to lower this? I think I do. Perfect, now you can see the machine. Okay. So going on the top. And then I'm going to top stitch this up as well. And I'm using a stitch length of 4.5 for my stitches all around. Okay, so there's that all put together. Repeat on the other side. And if I hadn't been explaining everything as I went, I would have chain pieced all of these together as well when I top stitched, etc. Because it is faster. Um, the sew whatever enamel pins um, will not be restocked, unfortunately. But I, ju bleh, I did just restock the stickers um, and then the machine magnets will be restocked in probably about two and a half weeks. So definitely by the time the zippers are here um, or zippers are live, the magnet should be too. Fingers crossed. Delays. Really. And that's what stinks is like with all the shipping delays and I'm not complaining. Um, it's just hard to know exactly when things are going to be available. It's getting better, but you still never know. Keep you on your toes. All right, front and back. Uh, the Oliso that I have is the higher model, and I think it's the only one the light pink one comes in. I want to say 1600, 1700. I don't know but I just got it back. It was, wasn't being serviced. I got a replacement because it leaked, which I know is a big issue with the Olisos. They leak or the buttons kind of stop working. So that stinks. I know, right? It looks really cool. It's in, it's intentional. Oh yeah. 
Walking foot is amazing. You can also get a Teflon foot and that will help when you sew with vinyl, but I don't think a Teflon foot, I personally don't feel like the Teflon foot replaces what a walking foot does. Just the way it walks the fabric together. But, do you? Yeah, Jan, absolutely. Um, I ship internationally only with tracking because, I mean, you guys know, <laughs> there were a lot of issues. <laughs> so we had to, um, I filed a lot of lost mail claims. Luckily, most of them have been found. If not, they're still looking. Um, and that's why I only ship with tracking. I've gotten a lot of emails and people are like, it costs that much to send this. And I'm like, I don't decide the shipping rates. I apologize if you were offended by it. Um, but I'm not going to just put a stamp on something. We always put tracking for that reason. For that reason. I don't want your things to get lost. Um, but keep in mind that international shipping has been delayed, unfortunately. I know my friend Cheryl, who bought zippers uh, on April 1st, did not get her package until early this month. <laughs> Yay, Inga, it arrived. I'm so excited. Okay. So right now I've added double-sided tape to my top zipper. Um, she has a really, really cool, unique way of putting her zipper panels together. So I highly recommend you check out how she does it. Uh, again, I'm lazy and I don't want to do it that way. Am I lazy or am I just set in my ways? I think I'm just set in my ways and I did not fold that enough. No sorry, Bob supposed to be like an inch. I can be both lazy and set in my ways. This needs to be folded in a lot more again. Maybe I should just measure it. I guess. Okay. So each side gets folded in by an inch. So I'm taking my ruler that is one inch wide holding it where it needs to go. Maybe that'll work. Oh, wow. Three weeks to get to Canada. Ooh. Although, if I were traveling, it might take me three weeks to get to Canada. Okay, there we go. Oh, um... Kelly, you could always try an alcohol swab every once in a while on your needle. I don't have that issue. Yeah, the cost of shipping is insane internationally, and I hate it so much. I cry every time I ship something out internationally because I'm like, you wanted it so much, you paid that much for shipping. But that's what it costs me for shipping too. Still in Chicago. Oh, jeez. Um, and you can always email me. I'll file that lost mail claim. Just shoot me over an email and we'll get it investigated. Oh, no. No tracking either. Oh. And that was another thing about me selling the zipper by the yard. I did not want to be competing with ready to ship zipper sources and stuff like that. Um, it's just not something I wanted to do. So I wanted to really have unique colors and just like mystery packs almost. It's always been like that living in Canada, yeah. I get you. And if you guys have questions, you can always shoot me an email as well or like use the contact me form through my website. Um, that's always the best way to get a response from me. 
Okay, so I'm just folding all of these. Oh, hi, Mary. Do I sew with my left foot? No, I sew with my right foot. Well, I use my foot on the pedal. I don't actually sew with my foot. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, still no leisure travel. Business only. We gotta stay safe, guys. I get it. I know a lot of people who are like, I don't want to wear a mask in public, and I'm like, if it could save someone, though, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Okay. So, my zipper, I'm going to fold the ends at a 90 degree angle and base stitch in place. And then we're going to add it to our zipper panel. Um, so I, I am not an expert in any way, shape, or form, but from what I've heard, masks can reduce the spread, so, you know, but there's, there's no, like, regulation on it, which is why we don't allow people to talk about masks, making masks, and so whatever, because there just is no regulation that I know of, they didn't release like, this is the regulation pattern that will save your life, you know? It's, we don't know. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so there, Oh, bubble bath going. Nita, that's what I'm headed to when I'm done sewing. Okay, so there is my zipper. So this makes sure that the, um, the zipper doesn't just whoop off. I'm not adding my zipper end yet because I don't know how long I need my zipper to be. Um, but I can add a clip to the end to make sure that my zipper pull doesn't come off. So I'm going to lay my zipper face down with my zipper teeth like an eighth of an inch from the edge. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. If, if there's even a chance it helps, it's worth it. Um, I know personally, I felt like I had trouble breathing in my mask. Like I was traveling on an airplane just recently, et cetera, and had to wear it. Um, and then I saw a post that a nurse did and I mean, you can't guarantee everything you're reading on the internet is true, but um, she showed that her oxygen levels were pretty much the same with a mask on versus a mask off, and she had like four different masks, and I was like, you're right. <laughs> I can breathe fine. I'm being overdramatic. But I know that it is hard for some people so i'm not saying I'm not trying to preach anything I'm just talking with my friends yeah that actually that makes sense there are medical issues that you you cannot do it i feel like i've done something bad bringing it up but hopefully we can all be adults and discuss each other's opinions etc okay so I'm adding this zipper panel got the front and back added I know right this lime green Woo! yeah you do eventually calm your breathing I, I agree completely agree so I'm going to steam the back side of this making sure I don't touch my vinyl how hot you get. It's true. You're right. And 
and I just try to think about all the workers um, who have to wear them for six hours a day, etc. even more if you're in the medical and your shifts are longer. I just think about that. I'm like, they can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I'm only at Target for two hours. No, I'm just kidding. 20 minutes, I hope. Yeah, exactly. So I just, I think of you and I say a little happy thought towards you. We appreciate you. I'm top stitching through all my pieces and I am going to top stitch the long side my waterproof canvas is a little bit longer that's okay that's how I wanted it and I, I'm just gonna trim off that excess as you can see there <laughs> yeah definitely doing that Um, I do have to go to a overshare, whatever. Just don't believe in oversharing. Um, a high risk um, ultrasound tech because they can't see her fully. <laughs> she keeps hiding. <laughs> I love that. I'm like, well, she is mine. And if you want her to do something, she's not going to do it. <laughs> um, favorite best suggested bag to make on a domestic? That is a great question. Um, the Freesia fold over. I made a ton of those on my old domestic machine. Um, I did manage to make the Emily bag, my own pattern on the Emily machine. Just trying to think of what I used to Um, 90 degrees. It's folded, folded at 90 degrees. Okay, right sides together. Um, so the Freesia fold over is by Blue Calla. How am I going to design the rose bag? I don't know. There's a little, I just... Pattern designing takes a lot of time and a lot of mental anguish. <laughs> so I've just not been able to do it with everything going on. Like trying to keep hardware in stock, sell bags, answer emails, go live, spend time with my husband, my friends. It's hard, there's a lot, it's a lot. Um, I honestly want to reach out to, um, some pattern designer friends and be like, can you work with me on these? If this is what you do mostly full time, you know, and I know I've said that a lot, but eventually I just need to do it. All right. So right sides were together. My zipper was face down. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Brittany. Doing okay? Thanks. Um, all right. Pressing my lining side down using lots of steam now that I can without my stupid auto shut off iron. Um, actually, I'm going to... I'm pulling on my zipper panel right now, and I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but my zipper tape went wonky. So I'm going to unpick just right there and move the zipper back in because that would, that's going to drive me bananas. Hi, Cecilia. Welcome. So I'm just unpicking where it shifted. I'm not going to unpick the whole thing. 
It's not necessary because it didn't shift everywhere. Oh, that's so fun. Hi, Sonia. Yeah, designing patterns is so much fun. Such a rewarding feeling when it's done. Um, but I feel like I'm never done because so many people um, will like message me saying they had issues printing and stuff like that. So it's just a lot, a lot of work. All right. Oh yeah. And I think it's cause like my vinyl was kind of sticking to my machine or I don't know what happened. And that's why if you think you're gonna have issues with that, just baste your zipper. It's much easier. I'm just like to, oh, it's cause I unzipped my zipper and it moved. Okay, that's what happened. All right, so I'm holding my zipper tape in place, laying my lining back on. I am starting within my seam allowance, back stitching, and then carrying on. I am sewing in a little ways from where I started so that um, where my needle may have perforated the vinyl or anything like that, it's hiding. We're allowed to make mistakes, but it's important we know how to fix them. All right. Beautiful. So much better. Um, Kelly, so a lot of times it could be because your iron wasn't, your zipper wasn't ironed before using it. Um, but so many different things could cause it. It's so hard. Okay, so I am folding up my lining and pressing again. Um, probably not gonna do a live tomorrow. My husband and I are gonna run a lot of errands. Yeah, make sure not, use your Ouija board hands, so just, very light pressure, I'm like rolling with the homies. Oh, am I gonna watch Clueless tonight now? Probably. Okay, so clipping my zipper panel. I feel like this is the longest a zipper panel has ever taken to make. Oh yeah, it's because I messed up. It's fine. So right now I'm clipping everything together Making sure all my little threads from when I messed up are hidden because they're not. Okay, someone say something and I missed it. Always. Okay. I have not watched Pose. Probably should though. I've been in a real like rom-com mood especially on fridays when cj is playing dungeons and dragons with his friends upstairs online and i'm just bored and too tired to sew because i've worked all day <sighs> so i just watch rom-coms and i honestly don't like cry but i could i guess That. You don't sound good. What's wrong with you? Hmm, nothing, I guess. Ugh. All right, much better. Oh, Brittany, that's exciting. I am going to wait until Monday 
if I can to mail mine so that my swap partner isn't like, Lauren just did a live. And she just, and I just got tracking info. So maybe, you know what I mean? Although my partner could be the one who still hasn't gotten there. So. Ugh. Anyway, okay. So there is my zipper panel. So now I'm going to mark the centers of my exterior pieces. And then I'm going to mark the centers of my linings. I am going to make my lining before I make my exterior, just because that's the way I'm going to do it. Isn't that, doesn't that look great? I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay. And then my gusset. I'm pretty sure when I was cutting out the exterior, I marked my centers, but I'll check. I did. Go me. Oh, fun. Okay, so clipping my centers. One side, I'm gonna sew it all the way together, and then the second side, I'm not going to sew it all the way together. I'm gonna leave that bottom open so I can birth through. Okay, I am adding little snips to my curves so it fits nicely. And it really does help. If you have issues with curves, try adding some little snips because you'll be like, this is so much better, what the heck? Um, you can always cut your zipper longer. A lot of patterns that I've seen lately do include, if using zipper by the yard, cut this. Um, but usually you want to add like an inch to what they're saying because most pre-made zippers have about half an inch on either side, I guess. Oh, Penny, that's so fun. All right, so all clipped together. Um, what am I? I'm just using my thread, my easy snips. All right, stitch length still 4.5, lining up the edges. I'm using the dedicated seam allowance for the top. But as I'm working my way down, I'm increasing it slightly. Coming around the curve and the bottom. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then as I get back to the top, go back to that dedicated seam allowance and back stitch. Should be good. Good. Um, Snipping my bottom center here. And the other side. And the other side. And you can leave marks so you remember to leave it open. But if you don't, that's okay too. Just try to remember you need to leave that open. Okay. Told you, you need to leave it open. You didn't listen. Snipping the curve just a little bit. And I like to use um, like snips or e the precision cutter, just a small scissor so you don't go way too crazy with your snips. What size thread do I use and where do I get it? I get my thread from sunnysewingmachines.com and I use the Amon Thread Tex 90 and Tex 70. That's bonded polyester and bonded nylon. 
Nylon has more colors, um, but I prefer the bonded polyester, so it's whatever. I can't tell a huge difference if I'm being honest. Okay. And I always end. <laughs> stitch at the corner. I'm, I'm leaving a really big turning hole because I'm using vinyl and my hands have already had a long day. Just leave that nice and open. Back to my other curve. And then readjust your single lines. Okay. Trim my jump threads. Boom. All right, so it is now time to add the zipper panel, which um, in the pattern, personally, it confused me a little bit because that's just not how I'm used to doing it. Um, because I like to put my lining in my exterior, not my exterior in my lining. That's what she said. Um, so. Yeah, and the one behind me, this one is actually for my chain stitch machine. Okay, so think about it for a minute. Um, if you are gonna do this my way, let's do this my way, should we? Um, if you have your lining as you've sewn it right now, it's X through your side out. But when you look in, you can see the right side of the fabric. So it's wrong side out, not exterior, my bad. Um, which means if you can imagine you'd have your exterior right side out. So your zipper panel would need to be face up so that when you unzip it, you can see into your lining. So basically your linings should be touching when you add the zipper. So I'm lining up the center snips and I'm clipping. I know personally like four years ago when I started sewing more and more bags etc this would have confused me to no end I would have been like that's not right no that's not right it's right it's okay because your lining sides are touching and if you imagine your exterior is attached the zipper is where it should be so yeah, wrong side of zipper to right side of lining. But while that might make sense in pattern form, sometimes visually it's like, that doesn't seem right. So I'm just trying to further help explain that it is right. It's okay. You're right. You got this. Okay, so there is my zipper all clipped in. <laughs> you did it my way. Yeah, this is what got cut out of the tutorial, so yeah, linings need to touch. So now I'm unzipping my zipper so that I can easily open and top stitch or base stitch my zipper panel in place. And I like to go um, just really, really close to the top edge. So that when I add my exterior, I can have as much zipper panel showing as possible. And right now you can also baste through your side panel and um, move your side seams to one side or the other. And this will kind of help hold that in place. So, just saying. going to baste yeah all the way around there we go so my interior is done set it aside so now I'm going to finish my exterior so I've got my um, my panel and my gusset lining up the center snips, adding a few clips, and then 
lining up the top. What's nice about the glitter vinyl is it kind of sticks to itself. So when you're sewing the side seams, it's a little bit easier. Again, using the little snips to cut curve, cut into the curve, kind of helps lay flat. It's not perfect, but it's better. More snips. More snips, please. And if you need to use a stapler to hold the gusset in place, no shame. So there is that all clipped together. And then I'm just gonna use the standard seam allowance for this bag all the way around the outside. Back stitch at the top. I'm also gonna back stitch over my accent pieces to just kind of reinforce that I do not plan on trimming any of my seam allowances down because it is such a small seam allowance. Again, I'm back at that accent, so I'm back stitching the other side. So you can see we back stitched here, here. You can back stitch in the curves if you need to. I know it helped Jessica when she ran out of bobbin, but that is what that's looking like. Um, I think I'm gonna add a nameplate. Why buy them if I don't need them, right? Mm. That's a loose bobbin. <clears throat> All right, so I've got my center one. And then Line that up, center. Um, yeah, you could definitely make it a smaller wristlet. I know the pattern includes like three different variations, so you could check it out even before you purchase it to see what you think. Yeah. in place. It's official. Just kidding. I've worked all day, so I'm a little loopy, I'm not gonna lie. That's a, one of the main reasons I haven't been live in quite some time is because I work all day here. I work from home. This is what I do, what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just, I get worn out. <laughs> what is happening? Perfect timing. My phone is dying. We have enough to get through this. No. Oh, I'm so dumb. I was like, I thought I had a charger nearby. Yes, I do. You are growing a human, it's tiring. Oh, there we go. Power charge. Just in case. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, there's like a boxed version of this pattern, box bottom version. There's all kinds, and they're so cute. Um, so there's that 
all clipped together. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Jennifer. And like I have so many things I've planned to do as far as like filming tutorials. I was gonna film before I went out of town for my sister's baby shower. And I was like, I just can't, I don't want to. And I don't ever want to do something just cause I should. I don't, like I want to be inspired and I want it to be a fun video for you guys. Um, so I actually have a video plan of putting together a Technisport chair. Um, I just got a new one in the mail and I wanted to do kind of like a compare and contrast for people. My chair versus two other types that they sell. Um, and just show you guys how they're put together. So if you get one, we can make it together. Cause how fun would that be? <laughs> Auntie Charlie, I love it. <laughs> a bazillion aunties, I love it. I know someone asked if we could do like a, an online baby shower and I just like, I feel like it's such an abuse. I don't know. I'm like, I don't need that much stuff. There's so many people. So um, I'm thinking maybe we'll do like a charity donation or something. Um, so if people wanted to send stuff, you're, you're still more than welcome to. I love handmade gifts with my whole heart. Um, but I just don't want people to feel like they have to give or send money or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> For all the gifts. I actually, I, PO boxes are really expensive. Um, so I was thinking of posting my dad's address. <laughs> Because he was like, yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> um, but if you guys order stuff from me, my address is on the package. So that, and I'm sure you could just Google it, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so to make this a little bit easier on myself, I have turned my... Oh, Inga, I'm so excited. I've told like everyone I know, I was like, look at her quilts. <sighs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm turning my um, seam allowances in separate directions so that it's less bulky when I put it all together. So right now my glitter vinyl is really sticking together. Um, basically it's just all Rapunzel themed. Um, our house layout is really weird so to put her in a her own room is all the way upstairs so I'm not going to do that at least for six to nine months. So I wasn't even going to bother putting together like a real baby room. I just... Oh, a Tina Belcher quilt. That'd be so funny. Okay, so then we're going to top stitch all the way around, birth it, close up our hole, and top stitch again. And that's done. I'm so excited. I really hope my partner loves it. what extras I want to include. I'm probably not going to send candy um, just because I don't want it to melt or anything but you guys know I've got tons of hardware so I might include um, some zipper by the yard and a few fun zipper pulls or something with it. Hi Cindy! So then I'm going to grab the exterior. Aww. Um, Jennifer, we're not sure when the next swap is and we haven't decided if we want to make it a separate so whatever swap group or not. I know a lot of 
like it's it almost feels 50 50 with people who are annoyed by the swap posts versus people who are inspired by the swap posts even if they don't participate so it's really hard to say again wanting to please everyone but it's impossible um because then i know that there are people who miss out on seeing a, anything about it so thinking with a separate group they might be able to however with facebook algorithms if the group is inactive for so long then um if people won't see the posts so i don't know ah oh, it's so pretty um yeah exactly with facebook you never know and then if people were to set up send me notifications well they get a million notifications of when people are posting their swaps so we just haven't decided and I actually don't have a whole lot of in like hands-on with the swaps they're in my group but um, my friend Linda does all of the hard work putting it together so we just don't know and we usually have over 300 people to sign up so it's, it's a lot of work. Oh, I need to add a label. I'm gonna put a label, it's gonna be a really pretty today. Cause who wouldn't want that? Shell, yay. Oh, I should have burped the bag first. It's not too bad. Ah, it's so cute. I love it so much. All right, so then top stitching is next. What I'm doing. Glitter vinyl is so much harder. Absolutely. <laughs> it's sticky, it's thick, and that's what she's in. Anyway, moving on. Um, so I'm pulling my zipper panel out of that seam allowance. I'm not applying a ton of pressure. Um, I could steam this from the lining. Yes, there is a thinner glitter vinyl. Uh, it's glitter canvas. And my iron is still on, so I'm going to iron it. It's really sad that that excites me. My iron is still on. so much better. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Rated R. Yes, glitter canvas is what it's called. It's 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 thin. 30 minute auto shut offs forever. I was so happy. I plugged it in and like used the steam function. I was just like, welcome home. <sighs> yes. We're gonna put the um extra large zipper end. Oh Charlene. I know, right? Wouldn't that be fun? It's just another procrastinator. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I love it when an idea comes together. Okay. So, right now it is lying face down. And what I'm going to be doing is making sure that I'm rolling over the lining in between my fingers so that I've got a nice seam to top stitch. And because I flipped my seam allowances separate directions, it's not as bulky. And you just want to make sure that your lining is nice and flat and that you're not sewing through the other side. Because I've done that. Um, yeah, if you're working with glitter vinyl and you have a domestic machine, 
I, I don't even think a Teflon foot works that well. You can make that call for yourself, but I remember when I tried a Teflon foot, I was like, no, this isn't working. Because it just doesn't regulate your stitch length like the walking foot can. Okay, getting back to the beginning. What happened to my hand? Um, hot water maybe? Anyway. Okay. To the start. Mm, that's a nice top stitch. Okay. What happens? Um, what happens if someone doesn't receive a swap bag? Like, say whoever drew them wasn't able to do it. Can we sign up? Um, Brittany, we actually do have something called Swap Angels, and I think that it's full. I think we have enough. Um, yes. Yes, domestic machines have walking feet too. That is correct. All right, so let's zip it up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you wonky? No, just sitting weird. Are you wonky? Are you looking at me like that? No, it's not wonky. Just need a little massage. Okay, so I'm adding my zipper end. You can see that I've cut my zipper way too long. I did that on purpose. I'm going to cut it, if we're gonna be precise, I'm gonna cut it two inches longer than I need it to be. Normally I would just eyeball this, but I'll be honest. <laughs> Look how cute. I do save those by the way, and I use them for wristlets and whatnot, little zippers. So I'm taking my lighter to the end. I'm grabbing my Fabri-Tac glue. I'm grabbing my little screwdriver with a light from Amazon. I have my XL zipper end and I have my screw sitting on a magnet on my machine. Okay, and then I'm so excited. This is my first time using it. I shouldn't be this excited. Um, but I'm so used to having to like fold it so tiny and whatnot. I'm still gonna do it. Okay, folding this over. You really don't need to be this precise with folding it, but I'm basically folding over so it's just the teeth. But if you can see, guys, I don't want to make this joke, but I have to. No, I don't have to. The, the extra large zipper ends are so nice. Like you don't even, it's, I don't want to say it. Can I say it? I should? Okay, it's like a hot dog down the hallway. <laughs> It's just, it goes on so easy. <laughs> right, Jan? I bet we could guess. 400 people just heard me say, like a hot dog down the hallway. Anyway, so you really don't have to fold it over that much, but what I'm going to do <laughs> is add quite a bit of glue because the screws that come with it are definitely long enough. I did not add any glue to mine um, when I did like the little sample photo. I don't think that counts as using it, but the glue can't hurt. Can't, unless you're allergic to it, I guess. So just stick that in there. And then any excess glue, because it's tacky, I can just kind of pick off. Oh, it's chunky and beautiful. I love it. Happy accident for sure. And then you just screw all the way. Add your screw all the way in. I'm tired y'all. Okay, so then this excess glue, I'm just dabbing my finger to wipe it off. 
but you're really not going to be able to notice it. <laughs> oh, I hope you all enjoyed that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And you can, like, apply a lot of, like, you know how people hold on to the end of their zipper to zip it back and forth? This is, like, nice to grab. Uh, the zipper ends 60 70 cents to a dollar or maybe a dollar oh nine to a dollar seventy four I cannot remember oh there's a lot going on on packing slips when I pack so I don't know but yeah you guys we did it Lauren this is how you got into this mess um so I'm actually going to take my thread zapper um you can see these little threads right here and I'm not happy, Bob. So I'm going to take my thread zapper and just so carefully zap that thread. Kind of push it back in. You could use your snips, but please do not touch your vinyl with your thread zap or, you know, Anything like that. Much better. Looks a lot better. And I just bought some. That's so funny. But yeah, that's it. Um, what thread do I use on the Juki 2000QI when making bags? Um, I think I use like Tex 45 that was left over from this machine that I hated. Um, or just Guterman 100, but I, I just don't make it I don't use it to make bags that often, so it's hard for me to say. Oh, thanks. Isn't it fun? Oh my gosh, look at that chunky zipper. So cute. All right, now I'm gonna yank on it. Yeah, you can apply a lot of pressure. Oh, is that a wonderful time? Oh, thank you, Crystal. I added too much glue, but it's coming off, so that's good. Yes, the Guterman 100 is much lighter than a Tex 45, for sure. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, a higher thread number, but I don't know what that machine is capable of. Um, I use a lightweight thread when I'm just making zipper pouches, because that's... I saw another thread, and it was making me mad. Um, oh, the glue, uh, it was um, Fabri-Tac glue um but yeah I don't I just it's just my domestic so it's hard for me to share any other questions before I go take a bubble bath where are we going to put the playpen in the studio um so honestly I'll probably put a bassinet like right over here it's on wheels my my father-in-law already bought it and I'm stoked about it uh, yes, I still have morning sickness and it's all day, but I take medication, but sometimes it doesn't work. So cute. Um, what group has the chocolate frog pools? Things for your stuff. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're stoked. Although we do look at each other and we're like, who do we think we are having kids? What? Oh, uh, the table is from Ikea. Yes, Angela, you do want a thicker thread. Um, honestly, I think a thicker thread when putting together and top stitching looks great. Um, I honestly used to not think that though. I was like, oh, I don't know about that, but we change, we learn. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hop off, I'm gonna go watch romantic comedies in bed and design more zipper pulls. Ugh. Uh, Diane, I will check those tonight. Usually an admin does it. I never get a chance, but I will do it in my bathtub. So if you get accepted to the group tonight, that's what I was doing. <laughs> All right. Bye everybody.